How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to show you um, how to create your own digital clock with Moment.js inside JavaScript. Okay, so for those of you who don't already know, um, Moment.js is basically a JavaScript library um, that deals with date and time. Okay, so on the actual website, you can see um, it's used to, uh, to pass, validate, manipulate, and display dates and times in JavaScript. Okay, so to actually um, grab a hold of this library, you can download it um, directly from here, or you can install it using a package manager. Okay, alternatively, um, you can even go inside the docs section and use a CDN such as cdnjs.com or jsdeliver. So I've actually done this with um with this file right here. So inside my HTML, you can see I've actually used a script tag um, to the moment.js um, script on the JS Deliver CDN. Okay, so once um, this is all done and included, um, you're good to go. Um, so I've also included a Google font called Contrail1, um, which will be used for the actual clock typeface. So um, it looks like this and I think it's actually a good choice for um, the front of a digital clock. Okay, so let's start creating this clock. Okay, so inside the HTML, um, the first thing to do is to um, create a container for the actual clock and then add some CSS styles. Okay, so inside the HTML, we can begin by creating a new div um, down here and give it an ID of something like clock. Okay, now we're also going to put some sample data inside here. For example, 8.23 p.m. So we're going to use this text um, as a guide when we're actually styling up the clock. Okay, so I'm going to save this and refresh the browser and we just get that text right there. Okay, so let's use CSS to um, make it look nice. Okay, so inside the style tag, let's target the ID of clock. All right, inside here, let's set a width of something like 300 px um, and a height of something like maybe 100 px. All right, let's also add a background color of black and also some border radius of something like 5px. All right. We can save this and refresh the browser and we get that result right there. Okay, so um, this text is now hidden. Let's apply this font to that text and center it um, vertically and horizontally. Okay, so inside the HTML, let's add a display of flex so we can now um, center it vertically and horizontally. We can use the align items um, rule and we're going to say um, center and we'll also use the justify content as center as well and that will center the text vertically and horizontally. Um, we can add a text color of green, all right, maybe a green yellow actually, green yellow and for the font family we're going to use the contrail1 font, so contrail1 and sans serif as the backup. Now we can save this and refresh the browser and we get um, that right there. Let's just uh, make the font size a lot bigger. So we can say font size as something like, I don't know, let's just say 3EM. Right, we can save this and refresh. Okay, so that looks quite good. Um, so the CSS is now done um, and the HTML structure that is all that's required in the HTML, um, just a simple div tag. So now we're going to use moment.js to actively get the time every second and then display it um, inside this, um, this clock div. Okay, so let's go down to the JavaScript and we're going to add um, uh, an interval. Okay, so we're going to make an interval that runs every second. So every second, we're going to update the time. All right, so let's just say um, set interval. All right, inside here we're going to pass in a function which will run every second. So um, this function will take no arguments. 
All right, and it's going to run as a comma here. It's going to run every one thousand milliseconds, or that also means one second. Okay, so um, let's just say console dot log um, time is being updated just for now. All right, so I can save this and refresh the browser, and we can see in the console. Um, we get time is being updated every second that goes by. So we're going to replace this code with the code to actually update the clock. All right. So back inside here, let's just actually first get a reference to the actual clock div. All right. So um, down here, let's make a new constant and we'll call this one clock equal to document dot get element by ID. We're going to pass clock inside there. Okay, so now um, this clock refers to that element right there. All right, so inside this function, let's use the moment.js library. Okay, so um, basically, uh, moment.js has its own time, sorry, its, its own date time type, and it's called a moment. Okay, so to create a new moment, you use the moment function just like that. So what we can do is I can say const and then say now is equal to um, moment. So basically when you call moment by itself, it generates a moment object for the current time. Okay, so in the actual docs, you can see um, Let's just go to the get and set, I believe it is. No? Oh, now, sorry. So in the now section, you can see um, you can obviously uh, get the current date and time using moment by itself. All right. So once you actually have this moment object, it comes with a bunch of methods. One of those methods is um, a uh, format. Okay. So. Um, Let's go down to the um, display section. We can see here we have a moment.format function or method. All right. So this allows us to convert this moment object into a human readable time. All right. So you can see here we have a few examples. Okay. You can convert, um, you know, this uh, current time to something like that, and it gives you that result right there. All right. So. It's also got a bunch of, um, you know, tables and examples. So uh, it's just a reference, right? So it's got all the um, different letters you can use uh, inside this format function. All right. So let's go back inside the JavaScript and we're going to call that format function or method. All right. So let's make a new constant and we'll call this one. Uh, let's just say human readable. All right equal to now dot format okay so we have to pass in um, a template for the format function so back inside the documentation we want the hour and the minute all right you know what we also want the second okay um, so let's go down here and find the actual hour there it is so a capital H gives you um, the hour of the day but you know what I'm gonna use the lowercase h because that gives you um, only 1 to 12 okay so using the a.m. p.m. time alright so let's put a h inside here okay cool let's put a colon which represents um, that colon right there all right and then we need the minutes. Okay, so back inside here, um, a minute is used by the M keyword. So we can put a an M inside there and one more column, uh, this time for the actual second. All right, so for the second, um, we'll use the um, second right there. You know what? Actually, we want to use the double M and the double hour to constantly get the zero in the front. Okay, so we're going to keep it at two digits per um, unit of time. Let's change this hour to double H and double M and the second 
double S. Okay, so if I was to now console.log, console.log, oh, oh, console.log human readable, all right, if I save this and refresh the browser, we get every second that right there. So we can see it's updating um, as the time goes on. So um, just to recap, this string right here is like a template um, which moment.js uses to display the current time. Okay, so um, now if you want the actual AM or PM, you just put an A after the end of that. All right, so back inside here, let's put an A after the S. Let's save this and refresh the browser. This time, we're getting that right there. Um, I reckon we actually use an uppercase PM. So let's just go back inside here. We see an uppercase A will give us that in uppercase. Okay, so let's put an uppercase A at the end of here. All right, we're, we're now all done. Um, we can simply then um, change the text content of the clock to um, this human readable time. So down here, let's say clock dot text content is equal to human readable. Okay, so now um, if I save this and refresh, we see we get this this time in the actual um, clock element. But if you notice, it doesn't happen straight away. All right, so what we can do is we can actually extract this function and put it inside a separate function. All right, so um, let's just make a function uh, below here and we'll call this one update time. Okay, this will contain all this logic. All right, just like that. And then um, we can instead pass in update time inside here. So now this interval function is going to call this function every one second. Okay, and that function will obviously um, achieve that update. So this means I can actually put update time and call it directly um, when the document loads. All right, so now um, if I save this and refresh the browser, that function gets called straight away and um, it now works as expected. All right, and that's how you can use um, moment.js to create your own digital clock inside JavaScript. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.